Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a comparison from the Rebel to the Evo SLS because I have received a lot of questions from a lot of people asking me what is the right kite if you wanted to jump really high, what is the right kite if I want to jump but I also want to go for foiling. So today I'm gonna be doing this breakdown of each kite and yeah let's see which is the kite that's suitable for you if you are new to this channel please subscribe to it also you can ask me anything on the comments if you have any questions i'm gonna be replying to everyone and don't forget to give me a like so starting the breakdown i'm gonna begin with free ride the Evo SLS for sure is my favorite choice for free ride. The Evo SLS has a way lot of bar pressure, uh, which is very comfortable to keep you in the water riding for many, many hours. Uh, the kite also is quicker. It works better in light wind conditions. And also it's a really an amazing kite if you wanna go to the water in very light wind. You know, all the SLS uh, construction with the lighter material uh, makes the kite be really easier to fly. It's a really nice kite for beginners as well. Onto pro riders is really nice overall to any disciplines. It's really nice for foiling, for waves, for jumping, just playing around. So it's a kite that suits pretty much every conditions. And for sure, it would be my kite if I have to choose to be in the water for many, many hours because of those reasons. I would only choose the Rebel, uh, especially for high jumps. So a free ride kite, I would definitely choose the Evo SLS uh, because of those reasons mainly. That's why I give the Evo SLS a score 5 and I give the Rebel a score 4. Moving on to jumps, uh, this is the most frequently asked questions I get. A lot of people ask me which is the kite that jumps most and for sure is the Rebel. Even the Rebel has the normal structure and the Evo SLS has the SLS construction. The Rebel is a five strut kite which works really really good in really strong wind because the five strut keeps the kite in its shapes uh, even in very strong wind with a lot of pressure on your lines and gusty wind and the Rebel is the kite if you want to jump high and if you want to get in the air for as long as you can I guarantee you that if you use any other kite if you get the Rebel and you do your first jump you're gonna feel a lot of difference when you jump you're gonna be like whoa uh, that was easy and I'm staying in the air for longer than I used to be and it's really easy just to jump the Evo SLS is a really good kite also for jumping but you need a uh, extra technique to jump as high and as long as the Rebel. That's why I most of the time suggest people to get the Rebel because it's just an easier kite to jump. Also, the biggest size of the Evo SLS is a 12 and the Rebel is a 15. So for example, uh, in 18 knots, I ride the Rebel 14 and I for sure I'm gonna jump higher and longer than the Evo SLS 12 just because of the size too. So if you are a guy that looking for really high jumps and for a lot of time in the air uh, to do the extra spin on your board off, have more time to put the board back in your feet, the Rebel is the right choice. That's why in the jumping category, I'm giving the Rebel 5, which is the maximum score, and the 4.5 to the Evo SLS. So now talking about Kai loops, the Evo SLS is designed by Ralph. Uh, which is a guy that really likes to push the extremity of kiteboarding and he does really good kites for jumping and also for loops. And the Rebel is not a kite that was made to, to be a really good kite on kite loop skills. Uh, it was really made for jumps. Uh, that's why the Evo SLS has a better kite loop than the Rebel. Uh, the Evo SLS is an amazing kite for kite loops. Uh, because it's really easy, the kite spins really fast, the turning speed of the Evo SLS is really fast, the bar pressure it's not so high as well, which makes it easier to loop your kite. And also, with the jumping ability of the Evo SLS, you can go high enough and be safe to loop your kite, making sure the kite is gonna catch you back uh, during the landing. That's why the Evo SLS, uh, you cannot compare with the Rebel 
for kite loop tricks. The Rebel has a really good loop ability. Uh, if you are doing a downwind, for example, and just doing jibes, attacks, but for kite loop tricks, the Evo SLS is better for sure than the Rebel. That's why for kite loops category, I'm giving the Rebel a three and I'm giving the Evo SLS a four. Not but least, I'm gonna talk about foiling which is one of the most frequently asked questions as well. A lot of people ask me that they want a kite that jumps high, but they also want a kite which is really good for foiling. And in my opinion, the Evo SLS is a better kite for foiling than the Rebel because uh, it's a kite which works way more forward on the, on the window, uh, which means uh, you have a better upwind skills. Uh, it makes your upwind easier and you can point to the angle upwind and go faster to whatever you want to go upwind. Also, if you want to go foiling in a really light wind, the EVO SLS is a machine due to the new material, the SLS construction. The material is really light, which makes the kite be amazing for flying light wind. All the time when you're kiting with six, seven knots, you always have that feeling that the kite is gonna fall from the sky. You have to keep the kite moving to the right, to the left, and the EVO SLS uh, you just have to don't do anything because the kite just stays in the air flying by itself. So the EVO SLS is an amazing kite uh, for, for foiling compared to the Rebel. The EVO SLS also has a nice drift uh, due to the three struts construction, uh, which gives you a really good uh, angle to go downwind. It's really playful, light bar pressure comparing to the Rebel which is also more playful to go right and left and do cars and tacks. So the scoring for the foil, I have to give the Rebel a four, which is a really nice score because it is a nice kite. You know, you have a lot of power when you're riding the, the Rebel foiling, but I have to give the Evo SLS a five because for me, in all the range from dual tone kiteboarding right now, the Evo SLS is the best kite for foiling for me. Uh, the SLS and the kite shape, it's amazing. Has a really good upwind skills. It's really nice to play, uh, turning the kite right and left. And also the upwind ability, it's amazing. Moving on now to wake style. Uh, the Rebel for sure was not built for wake style category. It's a kite, as I said all the time, was projected to jumping high and have a lot of hang time. Uh, that's why there's not many what I can say for wake style. You know, if you get someone has amazing skills, for sure the guy is gonna be able to do uh, most of the tricks with the Rebel. Uh, but for sure it's not gonna be as easy and it's not gonna look as good. And for sure the Evo SLS is a better kite for wake style than the Rebel. Uh, the kite, uh, as I said before, is an uh, all-around kite, which works really good for almost every discipline. And wake style is not different. Uh, the Evo SLS works better for wake style than the Rebel. Uh, it's for sure really possible to do a lot of uh, tricks uh, on wake style discipline. For sure, it's not as good as the Dice and the Vegas, which are the best kites for wake style from the dual turn range. But the Evo SLS has a bit of wake style uh, DNA as well on the kite. So it's really nice if you want to have a kite that jumps high, it's good for foiling, good for loops, and also possible to do wake style on it. That's why I'm giving to the Rebel a two point from out of five and a three point for the Evo SLS out of five. Okay, so talking about the last category, I'm gonna go to waves. Uh, for wave riding, uh, the Rebel was not projected as well for wave riding. Uh, that's why it's nothing I can say uh, much. It's a kite with five struts construction. Uh, it's a kite that has a really heavy bar pressure, uh, so which means the kite's not gonna move so smooth and so quick when you're riding the wave. The drift also is not so nice. That's why the Evo SLS is better for wave riding than the Rebel. The Evo SLS, the turning speed is much quicker and also the bar pressure is lighter than the Rebel. Uh, also, the kite drifts better because of the SLS material and the construction. Say that, I don't have much to say about it. Uh, just one more conclusion that the uh, Evo SLS is an uh, overall kite, as I said before. So that's why it works better uh, for wave riding than the Rebel. That's why I'm giving for wave riding, I'm giving a two point out of five for the Rebel and a three point out of five for the Evo SLS. 
We've analyzed all the categories of this kite, comparing the Evo Celeste to the Rebel from Dual Tone Kiteboarding. And the first thing, now doing an overview, I have to say, because I have a lot of questions from people, if you're a guy that really wants to focus 100% in your jump, get the Rebel, because the Rebel is a kite which is easier to jump high. If you got the Rebel, you're really gonna have the really airborne and a longer time in the, in the air, because the hang time is really amazing as well, especially if you are a heavy rider. I would say if you are having the 85 kilos, the Rebel is the right choice for you. So let's say in 20 knots, I have 73 kilos. Uh, my kite, my line is not gonna have as much tension as someone that has 90 kilos riding a bigger kite than me. That's why I suggest everybody which is heavy, get the Rebel. But if you are a guy that really likes to jump and also likes to enjoy other disciplines as kite loops, wave riding, foil, the EVO SLS is the perfect kite for you. The good thing of the EVO SLS is that the kite jumps really high as well, almost as the Rebel, but also gives you amazing ability to enjoy all the disciplines. So it's up to you to see what you want, what you want to focus. If you want to focus 100% on jumps, get the Rebel. If you want to have a kite that jumps amazing as well, but you also can enjoy other categories, other disciplines, as I said before, get the EVO SLS. And I hope my overview and this video helps you to choose the right kite for you. And I hope you have a lot of fun in the water.